Clark, the focus tonight has to be on the front court matchup. It figures to be a battle of big men down low. Well, you know, Kevin, no question about it. These are two very talented teams in the post. I mean, each used to owning the advantage in the paint, and I'm very interested to see the chess match inside tonight. And you look at Anthony Edwards. You're doing a nice job tonight, team foul. Tremendous swagger. And Edwards drops them both. And since being the first pick of the 2020 draft, Anthony Edwards has not disappointed. I'll tell you something, partner. The Timberwolves got that one right. Did they ever? I mean, we knew about his nuclear athleticism, but the leadership, the work ethic, the ability to impact winning also have been evident. This is a multi-time all-star going forward. Superb work in the pick and roll that time. LeBron James such a pro at executing in these sets takes advantage of whatever mistake the defense makes Towns a screen on Schroeder outside Towns tried to come right back with the three of his own but it's no good on the wing James defended by Towns back to LeBron pass to T a three-pointer no good and so Edwards will bring it up for Minnesota last game matchup with the Suns a, a tough loss there you gotta give him an A for Edwards just fell a little bit short in that Yeah, they were really close right there. Just couldn't string together a few key plays to help get them over the top for the win. 
James looking around. Bucket is good. James has got five. You know, LeBron in the paint, I think, is major trouble for just about every defender. He can power his way to the basket, or he can pass you into being dizzy. Gobert, the pass to Russell. Just five on the clock. From the line, Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. But shot's good. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Towns, a rebound by the Lakers. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year as we were in the Eastern Conference. Those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by them. Lakers leading by five. Things really clicking for them at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. And the pass to go back. 144 left here in the first quarter. Will it go? And Edwards with the stop. Boy, the athleticism of Edwards is something to behold. I love watching him sky up to throw it down. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Los Angeles' head coach gave me a few minutes. Defensively, he wants his guys to protect the rim and do everything they can to push the offense out to the perimeter. He told me, if we can do that, I feel good about our chances. Now, guys, obviously that's a tall order, but he's trying to get his guys to get geeked for the challenge. Okay, David, thanks. Loads it up for Davis, and Davis throws it down. There's no stopping that. A.D. is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Here's Russell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Edwards. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Passes to T. Doesn't go that time. And Minnesota will come the other way. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. The feed to Gobert. Yep, that one goes in there. And the bulk of Gobert's offense is going to come down low. Even if the D knows that, it can still be tough to stop. Here's T. Buries the long-range jumper. T's got five points so far. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out of this game. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. And just like you want to see assertive basketball. He threw that one down, Greg, so hard he could feel the strength over here. Guys, you got that exactly right. That was what I call an angry dunk. From deep three-point range, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. 
And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Six-point game. So the Lakers five right now. Russell Westbrook out there with Patrick Beverly. And it's LeBron James. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Walker in at the three. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Pass to Reed. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. And really, whatever your take on Russell Westbrook is now, you can't deny his place in NBA history. Voted as one of the NBA's top 75 players of all time. James kicks to Beverly. Six on the shot clock. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Assisted. Beverly's got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. Yeah, you know, LeBron is already top ten in career assists, okay? And he's also continuing to rack up the dimes and climbing just about every all-time chart there is in the NBA. Anderson a screen on Westbrook. Noel, no good. Greg, it is impossible to argue against Westbrook belonging to that top 75 players list, isn't it? It, it really is, Kevin. I mean, his career numbers and accomplishments speak for themselves. A, a very unique player, easily one of the best during his prime. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. The pass to McLaughlin. Another miss by Minnesota. Los Angeles leading by 10. Walker the pass to West. Beverly feeling it out a bit. Outside Bryant over to the wing. Shot from a low block. And it's Westbrook that time on the assist by Bryant. Westbrook's got four this quarter. One thing you can count on with Westbrook, he is always in attack mode. That's 24-7. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> well, he, he's got a point, David, and we thank you for your report. Park of guys playing today. Who would you put your money on to be a successful NBA coach? You know, Kevin, the smart money is on point guards, but I think any player that's been a student of the game could be a successful coach, but point guards most likely is my answer. Chris Paul, maybe even a guy like Jalen Brunson in the future. Bryant with a screen for LeBron. They get it again. The kick out to Walker. Off target with his three. Timberwolves trail by 12. Noel passes to McLaughlin. Right here. 122 left now here in the second. Anderson a screen on Bryant. To end the drought. The rebound by Bryant. Los Angeles leading by 12. Westbrook passes to Bryant. To the middle. Now here's Beverly. D right on him. From deep. Los Angeles with another miss. Timberwolves have gone in abysmal all six in the field since the second quarter began. The kick out to Anderson. This one for three. Keeps it alive. Controls the rebounding. So it's Los Angeles holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Hello and welcome. LeBron shooting at an incredible rate. Man, he's making all the right choices. 
forcing the defense to find him each trip down the floor. Yeah, in this case, the numbers do tell the story. And now, as the season winds, and that's a halftime wrap. Let's. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And the assets traded by the Wolves for Rudy Gobert surprised a lot of people. In essence, five first-round picks, three of them unprotected. They better hope this thing works out. A lot right now. Backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. And it's McDaniels in at the three, the small four. That's Chris Finch's five as we get into the second half. Outside, Russell, Towns, wide open. Up again, it's good on the putback. And just an excellent rebounder. Gobert is so good at using that incredible wingspan to track down those additional scoring opportunities. Gobert with the block. Second half just getting started, about a minute play. Pass to Towns. Looking for Gobert, he gets it there. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Six points for Rudy Gobert. Towns doing a nice job with the smart play there, getting the ball to a ready shooter instead of trying to force it himself. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Well, guys, T in that last outing against Chicago was sensational. He finished with 47 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll play. He's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. Feels confident that he can build on that prior success. David Wobble has checked. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And here's Russell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Towns for three. It's rebounded by Schroeder. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. They can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. That puts them squarely in the middle of this five-game road trip. Outside, Russell. It's Edwards on the wing. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Shoots from 12. Rebounded by the Lakers. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Towns a screen on Schroeder. Here's Russell. You count it. Good. Well, I tell you what, such a smooth, tight handle. I mean, it's Come on! Come on! Bang! He's checked in for the Lakers. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? 
Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But uh, I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. Towns. I mean, averaging a double-double every year of his career so far. So valuable in what he brings to the table. And the Lakers making a change here. James has checked in. He claims that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Tease has got 10 points in the quarter. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Westbrook against Russell. Feeds to Towns. Over LeBron. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. Yeah, that's one you got to convert. And so it's Los Angeles. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They're in the Here's Russell. So the Lakers five right now. They'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. Dennis Schroeder is out there with T and it's Reeves in at the three slot. Schroeder against Edwards. Four on the clock. And that one drops for him. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Davis setting the pick for James. Gobert with the block. And that's why you want Gobert on the floor. He's as good defensively as any big you will ever see. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Edwards, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws. Second personal foul. First team foul. Half the line for Minnesota. Anthony Edwards. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He wants most is to see his team succeed. That's what you love about A.E. Daniels, who's checked in for the Timberwolves. Los Angeles leading by 13. James, the pass to T. On deep. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got four assists in the game. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Here is Edwards. He's covered closely. That one, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. LeBron passes to Schroeder. Here's T from the arc. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Timeout called the Lakers. And team strategies. Time to get up and take the 
typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak. Long range from the inbound, and again for three. And all season long, he's been nothing but money from beyond the arc. You're right. He's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. Here's Edwards. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Sinks the triple. That's now 26 points for T. So many of the plays they're running designed to create. opportunities from deep well, you know that's exactly their plan here in the fourth work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes Russell against Schroeder and the slam dunk by Russell you know guys whenever Russell attacks second chance opportunities like that it's a big bonus here's T here he goes off target at the rim Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. And now in the final game. Great foul call, Red. Perfect. in 2015. Yeah, pretty interesting too, Kevin, that the Lakers traded him after just his second season. It was basically a salary dump. It wasn't about talent because he's got plenty of that, but he was young when he came into the league. He had a reset at age 21 and then went on to rebuild his stock in Brooklyn, making an all-star game there. And by doing that, showed everybody that he could start over. And the basket by Gobert. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. T the pass to Davis. It's stolen by Gobert. Right side, Russell. Out to Edwards. 122 left to play here in the fourth. Had the space there, but it's offline. T the pass to Westbrook. Greg, we're seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it should be a, a, a concern. Substitution now for Minnesota. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. Noel, he's checked in for McDaniels. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Russell. Here's McLaughlin. Can't connect from short range. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Lakers. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about love. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And it's pretty incredible when you look at the body of work this year, guys. I, I mean, when they hit 70 wins, we were astounded. And then now, the wins continuing to pile up in what's been truly a remarkable and special season. They were really smart in the use of that game plan tonight. Connects again from distance. And his incredible shooting season continues. Oh, up the history charts. He climbs GA, now tied for third all-time for threes in a season. Absolutely amazing. I got yours, I got yours. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team would... Thank you, fans, for cheering on your team tonight. Please get home safely, and we hope you...